Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. This evening we're doing the side gig jig. We are trying to find out how strong fasteners are. That is to say, the different brands, the Chinese yam versus made in America and so forth, versus stainless versus aluminium. How many threads does it take before they pull out? How do you twist it right clean off? How do you pull it right apart? Problem is, you ain't got the tool what for doing the job. You gotta make the tool what for doing the job. That's what we're doing today. A little green mat autonomic sensory response. How, pray tell, are we going to do that? Well, I have no idea, but a good place to start is a 30-ton Enterpack hollow cylinder. Now, now all we got to do is go over to the retirement fund and see what we can fabric cobble up. Dipping into Freedom 85. <laughs> I don't think we'll use brass for this, maybe. There we go. Old offcut of L9 ready rod. Looks like inch and a quarter fine pitch. Now that was a proper pain right in the arse and we saw despite this M2 tool steel being hard as woodpecker lips. I mean this stuff 
this L9 ready rod, tough as an old worn out saddle horn. <laughs> we had to, had to put on our big boy skirts there, the, the old tartan tartan, <laughs> bring it over to the Bridgeport milling machine because we had the hen party happening on the Boxford, the chatter and cackling and carrying on. Sometimes you just need more feed pressure so you don't get that weeble wobble effect. And luckily I invested, it invested, in good proper drill bits because chineseium i mean we just not even a, a chance in hell would that have gone through that was a right pain right in the cunning lingles but she's done now have we here the parts machine to our exacting requirements well i don't want to let the cat out of the bag but what we can do here with this is we'll be able to test america's favorite libation wd-40 see how well it works at uh, busting sees nuts. Also, how strong is red Loctite? How strong is blue Loctite? Does does anti seize actually work? This is the cock for Dolly. What fits in the torque structomatic? So we'll be able to twist these up directly on the fastener in order to see what the breakaway torque is. All sorts of scientific stuff. It's, it's, it's going to be great. Well, this allows us to twist the head of her clean off. What it doesn't allow us to do is pull on it in pure tension. We are going to fabricrawl with something. Of course, there's, there's tension testing devices, stress drain devices, but uh, I don't have <laughs> a couple hundred grand in my back pocket. So we're gonna make our own. By the geez, let's buy. Look at this cargo cult scientific abortion. Only thing missing is the white lab coat. Never mind your mother on speed dial. Let's make sure your beneficiary form is filled out. <laughs> yeah, these ought to do it. It's worked! And on the first try, no less. <laughs> that never happens. It's almost like this ain't my first Rodeo. Now, look at the grain structure on that. Completely different than the torsional failure, what we saw before. No colloidal, co no, col cochlear. What? I can't hear you. I have an ear infection. Ah, man. This is like the, the woman I love. I just can't remember her name. Get her out of the bar before the lights come on. For your own sake. Cock, conk, conk. Conchoidal benchmarking. No conchoidal benchmarking. Holy old fuck. I need some brain lubrication. Thanks for watching. Keep your deck in a vice. Uh, look for this in future videos because uh, we're going to split things right half in two. Some citizen science happening here.